All right, what's up, bike people? This is Paul Friedman, otherwise known as Fossil Fool, coming at you from Grass Valley in Northern California, where I am really excited to introduce you to a high-end, high-performance electric cargo biking system. This is the Combi 2000. This is a 2000 watt electric towing bike with cargo capacity, and it's being combined with a lightweight cargo trailer that also doubles as a extended range battery. So there's uh, equal parts battery in the trailer and in the custom aluminum battery box. And you can choose whether you're doing something, you know, uh, short and you want to be fast, in which case you just use the towing bike on its own, the Combi 2000 or if you want extended range and more space, then you can hook up what I'm calling the carbo loader or the extended range cargo trailer. Pretty good. Car is about to pass me on this turn and I'm gonna take the lane because I don't want to be passed on a blind turn. Now I'll let them pass me up here. I've been kind of doing better with the videos when I'm actually doing stuff. So I'm going to actually give you an example of how to load. Going to load up this full suspension mountain bike on the extended range trailer to show you one of the functions that it's really good at. And I know for a fact that Loading a bike is better when you have a good air pressure, so I'm just going to take care of that. You can imagine it being really useful uh, that your bike can easily carry one or two other bikes. If you were doing family biking and you wanted to, you know, take the family to a destination and do some biking together, but you wanted to be the one that was piloting the team on the way there like maybe there's some busier streets on the way to your destination and then you get to a really nice biking destination that's sort of the scenario that uh, this feature is for trailers got features that help to position the tires so that they don't slip and leaning it slightly this way towards the camera so that when I pull it the other direction then everything will be nice and taut. Trailer's got a lot of nice large openings that make it a breeze to pass a strap through. Now when I power this strap, now everything's taut. And I'm going to bring this buckle near to the top and kind of grab everything and pull it back this way. And I already have one of these hanging buckles here from my ride yesterday. But attention, and that's kind of it. And now I'm um, going to see how this thing rides and do. Uh, really short quick loop throw this thing on the easy mode and hit it oh, this is a little tight here a downshift for it well, i think i took that too aggressively let me try it one more time try it this time a little bit less on it. Yeah, easy. I'm gonna start with a cooler. Just use it's 
do, I'll position the strap right in the middle of the cooler and then I will go to one end through the handle around the bike frame. The bike's got an integrated steel cargo rack where the tubing is around, uh, I think, seven eighths of an inch. So basically much stronger than a normal bike rack. And so now what I've done is I've applied tension this way and tension this way. So this cooler is on there pretty good. Toolbox. These large holes make it so easy to pass straps through. And look at that strap. It is the perfect length for this large toolbox. Now I'm going to push down and pull up and really get that strap nice and tight. And, and you know, just to give you an idea of what this can really do. So now I'm going to um, secure the trash can because this, this whole exploration has come out of a lot of personal passion for me. I'm a car free guy. I'm 42 years old. I run my business. I can afford a truck. I've never bought a truck and I've never bought a car. I do car sharing. Um, my girlfriend has a truck and I do a lot of the driving when we go places. So I'm not like going to try to pretend that I am, you know, perfect, but I've never owned a car. And this whole project has really come out of a passion for how I can feel good about that choice. Because the last thing you want as a car free person is to feel like you're, you know, like it's all lame, like ugh, everything breaks all the time. And I can't go anywhere. I can't carry anything. Just the ability to carry one more thing and to have it not be one more thing, but two more large trash cans is pretty cool. Now, the fact that they're empty means that I'm not going to be causing a lot of extra strain on the motor, but it does happen to be that one of the steepest hills is the last hill, which is our own driveway. So we're going to see how this Combi 2000 does with it. One of the bins is off to the side, but it doesn't seem to be rubbing the, the wheel, so I'm going to keep going. Yeah, it's not rubbing. It's so nice to be back here again. Yeah, the last climb, one of the steeper hills of the entire ride. And I am handling it. And we are back on the land. And I see some kids playing. Hi. Oh. Where do things go? So I've left those feelings behind because I've invested heavily in the gear to get it to the point where I really like using it and I don't miss, I don't miss, I look for excuses to use it. Yesterday I came here using public transportation and I was able to get this whole system onto the Amtrak Capital Corridor. See how this rides. And this test ride begins with a very short climb. Moving it around is not that bad. Bike's got plenty of power for this climb. And now I'm starting to use the regenerative braking. This is mostly regenerative braking right here. And now I'm going to try it one more time with only regenerative braking. Starting the regen right now. Regen is enabled. Full regen, no other braking. And that was a little bit too fast for my tastes. And now I'm gonna do regen and I'm braking. So this is now, I'm crawling down this steep hill and it's, yeah, this is very safe 